hey guys hope you are doing well so after this boring weekend we see that the crypto market is just side waving not too much interest on the market uh, but we are getting closer to the end of september and we'll see how we will close september because september used to be a red month for crypto my name is mike denkler from coronex and from the crypto minds global movement and i am bringing you the most important crypto news technical analysis altcoin nft DeFi gems to keep you updated and educated about the evolution of money and the evolution of the internet so guys smash those like push the bell and notification or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so smashing those like is helping out the youtube algorithm so appreciate all your likes i should state that nothing in this video is a financial advice everything just for your education and entertainment purposes only always do your own research and make your decisions based on your research and uh, according to your financial conditions so guys let's go and check out our favorite bubble chart as we see bitcoin is down 0.5 percent almost uh, the same uh, for ethereum uh, most of the altcoins are correcting in red but we see a few altcoins like curve caspa uh, and wemix are pumping like a hell and also aptos is doing something and also algorand is in plus what about our favorite indicator the crypto fear and greed index it is at 44 uh, this is a fear zone from uh, 45 we are entering the neutral zone so we are hovering around the fear zone and the neutral zone in the past few months let's go and check out our first news that bitcoin holding about 26,000 us dollar is remarkable as equities take a hit what's next for btc price that's the question why they did uh, get a hit a uh, hit because uh, the uh, because of the possibility that the recession will come next year according to the fed uh, chairman um, um, mr powell said that the uh, soft landing is uh, not uh, more in the cards so maybe a recession so bitcoin 200 week and 200 day moving averages converge at 27,800, acting as an ob obstacle for bitcoin price uh, yeah so this is a uh, resistance uh, how should i say so these are resistance levels so what else do we have the dxy hit zero meaning there is no, uh, no relationship uh, at all between them so there is no uh, correlation between the bit bitcoin and the dxy in the past few days the number of lo long-term hodlers in crypto slang are near an all-time high into the uh, block said uh, which could be a sign that they are refusing to sell before a potential approval of a spot bitcoin exchange traded fund in the us historically these long-term in, uh, investors have helped sustain price during bear markets and take profits as new all-time highs are set in bull markets according to report this trend uh, appears to signal a bullish cycle for bitcoin may be approaching uh, tough it's unclear how long bitcoin outperforms uh, will last in a worsening macro environment on-chain data shows uh, that its uh, long-term investors continue to accumulate regardless resistance about 27,000 both, both the 200 weekly moving average and the 200 day moving average are in the 27,800 level likely acting as strong resistance in the coming week okay so moving averages are a resistance for now okay so why is is so okay next Chainlink, what about Chainlink? Chainlink defies market sentiment. Bitcoin starts at 26,500. So Bitcoin back at 26,500 and also the 200. Uh, yes, okay. So we are just uh, side waving here. Link in green. Link was in green. Chainlink native token has so, uh, soared by about 5% and trades about 7 US dollar uh, as. Uh, yes let's check i think we have something about uh link 
So next uh, news, uh, some technicals. So we have these levels uh, support. These are the levels of support and resistance. And these are the 20 uh, day exponential moving average and the 50 day um, simple moving average. And we are between uh, those and also the RSI is something somewhere in the middle. The flattish 20 day exponential moving average and the relative strength index near the midpoint show a status of equilibrium between the buyers and sellers. Break below the 20 day exponential moving average will uh, tear the advantage in favor of the bears. Alternatively, uh, the, uh, the pair may then attempt to rally to the overhead resistance at 28,142. Uh, and don't forget that we have some uh, short uh, liquidations about 28,000 US dollar, and, and this would be huge to see that. So, chaining price analysis. Ch chaining is surging. Uh, moving averages have compelled a bullish crossover and the RSI is in positive territory, uh, indicating that the buyers have to upper, upper hand. On any correction, the bulls are likely to buy the dips to the 20-day moving average. A strong rebound of this level will suggest a change in sentiment from selling. Okay, so the bulls will then try to extend the up move to 8 US dollar and eventually 8.5. If bears want to prevent the up move they will have to sink and sustain a link usdt pair below the 20 day moving average so guys also the we are about the moving averages and that was a downward trend line the downward trending trend line and uh, link uh, successfully broke out here and also we see the rsi is at the higher territory let's check uh, the other and also we see almost the same on the four hourly so four hourly advanced really well and also moving averaging supporting this move to the upward so guys let's go and check out our next news blackrock spot bitcoin etf could unlock 30 trillion worth of capital let's see what what is this 30 trillion about etf is the format in which the boomers and the financial advisors prefer their investments delivered and this matters because financial advisors manage manage about 30 trillion in assets so financial advisors so blackrock has outreach to almost uh, uh, so many financial advisors that they are advising almost 30 trillion major take a uh, talking point in some crypto investment circles the spot bitcoin etf is yet to approved by the sec in fact over the past decade the regulator has rejected as many as 30 spot bitcoin etf applications from which such as gemini Fid fidelity and wisdom tree okay so blackrock has 9 trillion in assets under management it's very smart and they don't just throw uh, filings on, out wildly, nilly, willy nilly. Uh, they clearly see something out there that uh, they think they can get through the regulators. So this is something quite interesting. And let's check out uh, next news. Um, I think this is also about BlackRock. BlackRock and Coinbase deal could trigger Bitcoin burst to uh, seven hundred thousand US dollars, according to Invest Answers. So BlackRock puts 0.5% of their assets under management into Bitcoin using my multiplier, which is 21x. That will impact the market cap by 1 trillion, which will add about 75,000 to Bitcoin price, uh, taking it to 98,000. And the ROI return from today's price is 3x. This is very, very achievable. And we can check in this uh, chart that what happens if... Uh, let's say 1% of uh, the uh, asset under management of um, BlackRock will get into Bitcoin. Or what about if 5% that we see this, uh, the multipliers, uh, 21x, and also the impact on the market cap and the impact on the price. So if 5% of the total uh, assets under management would enter Bitcoin, that would trigger and, and skyrocket Bitcoin to, one, uh, to 700 and um, 50,000 so that's insane 
Let's go and check out our next news. Yes, okay, maybe we do have another BlackRock related news here. Yes, fund manager says BlackRock ETF will drive 150,000 US Bitcoin price. Mark Yusko Morgan Creek uh, of Morgan Creek Capital Management thinks uh, 30 billion will flood into uh, an approved Bitcoin focused BlackRock ETF. So he expects 30 billion. It's not too much, but 30 billion. I believe and I have said multiple times that BlackRock will be the first one and I might even go stronger and say they might be the only one. It's certainly possible. Uh, what is probably more likely is BlackRock first and then a gap and then some number of others. But the thing is, whoever mm -hmm. first is going uh, uh, to get the vast majority of assets. So guys, let's see what will happen with this. Next piece of news is Google Cloud pushes deeper into blockchain data, adding 11 networks, in, uh, including Polygon. So Google's cloud computing business has stored historical data on, on Bitcoin since 2018, claiming the service provides faster access than uh, can be obtained directly from the blockchain. So guys, G Google Cloud using Bitcoin blockchain since 2018. Google, Google's cloud computing business is expanding its push into blockchain, adding 11 networks including Polygon, Optimism and Polkadot to its big query program for public data sets. Cool. So they announced in 2018 that Bitcoin blockchain data was available for ex exploration through the program. Key advantage according to Google Cloud is that users might be able to retrieve the historical data from an on off chain provider faster than quer querying the blockchain directly. Over the past 18 months, we have been investing in this space, we have uh, continued to hire, we have continued to grow not only our business development and our go to market teams, but also our product and engineering capabilities. Avalanche Arbitrum Near. Ethereum's girly testnet Phantom near Tron, according to a press release on Friday. So, other blockchains that are uh, involved in this. Okay, and the program makes historical blockchain data available for exploration, designed to overcome the underlying network's limited capability for short time scale. So, guys, this is huge, and let's. This is a, a clear crypto adoption. Next. Empty Gox. I already talked about Empty Gox. Empty Gox repayment delayed again. Creditors await BTC, Bitcoin Cash, and Yen payments until 2024. So, guys, okay, the repayment deadline for creditors has been pushed to next year. Kobayashi said discussion with banks, fund transfer service providers, and designated cryptocurrency exchanges have caused delays making it impossible to meet the original repayments deadline, which, which was this year, October. So the deadline was expect, uh, extended with one year to October 31st, uh, 2024. So guys, rehabilitation creditors who have provided the necessary information to the rehabilitation trustee will see repayments made in sequence as early as the end of this year. High volume of, of inquiries regarding the process the rehabilitation team might not respond promptly. So, guys, this is important because Empty Gox has almost maybe 100,000 bitcoins, and uh, they were sending out to 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 victims of this hack, and then uh, a part of this maybe will be sold. But I don't worry about this. Next, Coinbase holds 5% of all Bitcoins in existence according to this data. So Coinbase, Coinbase holds 25 billion in BTC. The exchange only owns around 200 million US of Bitcoin in its wallets. Okay. Arkham has now identified 25 billion of Coinbase Bitcoin reserves on chain. This make this makes Coinbase the largest Bitcoin entity in the world on Arkham with about 5% uh, of all BTC existence about as much as Satoshi Nakamoto. 
So Alcom has also noted that uh, it tagged and identified 36 million Bitcoin deposits and holdings addresses used by the exchanges. Okay. Coinbase has more Bitcoin that are not yet labeled and could not be identified. While Coinbase holds over 25 billion in BTC in wallets, the exchange only owns around uh, 10,000 of all the Bitcoin it holds, which is worth roughly 200 million according to the recent data. Meanwhile, community members express varying reactions to the news about the amount of Bitcoin. Na -na -na. Okay. Cool. Let's go and check out our next news. The catalyst, this catalyst will catapult Bitcoin and have a dramatically positive impact on altcoins, according to Anthony Scaramucci. And which is this catalyst? The Spot Bitcoin Exchange Traded Fund ETF could be approved in the first quarter of 2024. As a Wall Streeter, products on Wall Street are sold, they are not bought. And so there is going to be tens of thousands, if not 100,000 plus people at these Wall Street firms selling these products to their traditional investors. So people that are in Bitcoin understand the finite supply of Bitcoin, understand the nature and the quality that Bitcoin has. This will push Bitcoin up. Of course, it will have a dramatically positive effect on the altcoin market because it will lead to more capital into digital properties so people can think whatever they want they can think short term about the near-term volatility of bitcoin but these macro positive factors are overwhelm overwhelming okay so it's important that uh, now the largest asset manager in the world who started out with some level of skepticism related to g digital assets and bitcoin is now willing to adopt bitcoin but even more important that uh, they are willing to explain to their clients. I think BlackRock now has 30 trillion in assets under management for them, 7 trillion for Fidelity, why their clients need exposure to digital properties like Bitcoin. And so we have a 500 plus billion market for Bitcoin. You and I both knew gold is uh, 20 uh, depending on where it's trading, but it's uh, 12 trillion. There is no reason why Bitcoin couldn't get to gold. So I like this. Let me know in the comment section what do you think? How far can we go with this? Okay, next piece of news is interesting news about the Bitcoin creator or creators. Nick Carter doubles down on theory Bitcoin was invented by NSA. NSA created Bitcoin while has again made the runs on social media, which one Bitcoin advocate uh, adding more ways to his ongoing theory. So, uh, Bitcoin advocate Nick Carter has came out to the, reiterate his support for the uh, theory that the United States National Security Agency had something to do with the creation of Bitcoin. Okay, the paper, that was a paper about how to make a mint, the cryptography of uh, anonymous electric cash. That was the study uh, issued by the NSI. Okay, the research paper was prepared by NSI employees, sources including cryptography expert Tatsuki Okamoto, Okamoto who co-invented the Okamoto Unchiene public key crypto system in 2028. Uh, so, I call it the Bitcoin rub, uh, Bitcoin lab uh, leak hypothesis. I think it was a shuttered internal R&D project, which uh, one researcher thought was too good to lay uh, follow on the shelf and choose to secretly release. So guys, maybe this that is the case. Carter has actually had the theory for several years, proposing back in 2020, if Bitcoin was ridden by NSA, cryptographers as a monetary uh, bioweapon, if you will, and the, uh, and the code escaped those sensitive confines, doesn't make it a virus that escaped from a lab. So a virus that escaped from a lab. Okay. 
Cool, guys. In my version of this made-up idea, the researcher did it without permission of the NSA and chose to leave the coins behind so as to pre pre uh, preserve his anonymity. There is a ton of other circumstances, evidence which support this theory. He added also the name uh, could have been used uh, as inspiration for Satoshi. That's not a really a critical part of the theory, but I, I suspect Satoshi or at least his their close intellectual collaboration was closed NSA work associations, but I don't think Bitcoin itself or the white paper were officially sanctioned. I think the US government and the UK government invented it, which is NSA and the QSQHQ in the UK, who are the two world centers of cryptography. So guys, let me know in the comment section what do you think about this, who invented Bitcoin and is this real or not. So guys, let's go and check out my Twitter feed. Definitely follow me on Twitter. Uh, um, everything about crypto is going uh, on uh, Twitter. So uh, make, a, uh, make a Twitter account and just uh, follow me at MIKLOSDENKLER. Also push this notification bell and also follow our projects Korean platform and laserpunk underscore gods. So Bitcoin is the world's greatest commodity. Uh, there is uh, this mining conference. If you think 500,000 plus Bitcoin is too good to be true, here's a snippet from the yesterday's World, World Digital Mining Summit on how a miner is making uh, 56,000 per Bitcoin mined. Give a like and share. Potential Bitcoin tops after the next halving. Uh, they are using Bitcoin, uh, these Fibonacci levels and Fibonacci extension 3.6. And according to this Fibonacci circles, uh, it could go uh, between one uh, 100 to 500,000. This is how we see here. So first scenario, 505,000. Second scenario, 230. And the first scenario is 108, according to this Fibonacci extensions. Give a like and share Bitcoin to 20, uh, to 48,000 before the halving. Here are some interesting uh, views. Uh, let's check this. So first, second, third, and the fourth halving. So now we are entering this fourth halving. And and uh, before few months, the halving, uh, there is a, a cycle peak or, or another cycle peak, but starting a, a new cycle. First cycle price reached its uh, four months before halving, and second cycle was two months before. And also, these are Fibonacci levels. So, this uh, uh, 78.6 Fibonacci uh, retracement from uh, the previous peak, if I'm right, or oh, yes, for four months before, yeah, something like that, seven months before. Yes, okay, guys. So seven yeah cool don't miss this fire sale on bitcoin bitcoin rainbow rainbow chart uh shows that there is a fire sale going on so bitcoin is dirt cheap at those levels in, in these uh blue zones so the real world asset sector is one of the crypto's most exciting growth verticals uh, a report by BCG estimates that the uh, RVA sector will 26 uh, times by 2030. So that is why investing in RVA, uh, this is something that uh, we should consider. Even the market is boring and people are afraid the new Bitcoin address is increasing. As you see here, new Bitcoin address is increasing. This is a fat paper and uh, Paper concludes no need for the Fed to issue a voice CBDC as new settlement asset. And Michael Saylor posting this, you will never walk alone. Also, Corinex shared uh, our news and Metapros doing something and Rack Capital things that, yes, the top or, or always. Uh, after 500 or 550 days after the halving, the next tops. So we should be 
uh, carefully watch uh, and just uh, making some plans what we do think where the Bitcoin price will go after uh, next halving where will be the top depth uh, can okay Debt that can't be ever paid back, so the debt is just increasing and reached the US debt reached 33 trillion, and this is insane. And also, here are uh, he, he, these kids are buying uh, McDonald's and paying with Bitcoin, but I think they would eat some ma much healthier uh, food. Cool, guys, that's it. Uh, let's go and uh, Go to PancakeSwap, provide some uh, liquidity and CoinX BNB pair, and lock up your LPs and earn a juicy APRs here on uh, CoinX BNB farm. So check it out; it is in the description. And also, uh, guys, I think uh, there is uh, great things going on. Uh, actually, these pools uh, NFTs are kind of uh, using trading bots. They are using trade and see trading bots and these NFTs are paying out free X. So if you are purchasing an NFT, let's say for 50 or, or $100 or, or $5,000, it doesn't matter. Then uh, three times of this amount will be paid out as uh, they will reach with trading and, and you will get the rewards after each trade. So definitely check it out. We have, um, we have uh, a number that you have to use 174 the referral code that you have to use when you are signing up and if you are purchasing free uh, free of these nfts you will get uh, one plus nft as a gift so this is uh, um, part of the promotion so guys that's it for today hope you enjoyed hope you learned something be sure that you are following uh, a korean platform uh, on Twitter and also join our Telegram channel and follow me on Twitter and see you in the next video. Bye bye.